Mesh-free methods are those which do not require a mesh, and they are becoming extremely used in problems involving both fluid dynamics and solid mechanics being boosted enormously with graphical process units. Which are the best tools of this kind you can use for free? In this video I will show you the best 10 open source mesh-free projects and how I evaluate them. Let's go with it! Meshless codes use a Lagrangian approach in which particles or material points can move with the velocity field. They are used to solve either the Navier-Stokes equation for fluid dynamics and solid mechanics equations in solid elastoplastic problems. There are several mesh-free methods, some of them having a background internal mesh as material point method, particle femme or element-free galerkin, among others. And other formulations do not use a background mesh, like smoothed particle hydrodynamics or SPH. For a detailed list of these approaches, see the description below. Here I will show you 10 of the best tools according to my criterion, used for solving fluid dynamics, solid mechanics or both of them. Last but no least, all of the projects here are contained in GitHub, which is a platform and cloud-based service using Git, a software version control. How to know how good a GitHub open source project is? We are considering here 6 measures which speak for different aspects. 1. Stars, which takes into account the project blindness by other people. 2. People watching, the ones who not only put star in the project but also wants to know every change to it. This number is almost always smaller than the star but indicate a major degree of interest on the project. 3. Forks, to fork a project or repo means to create a copy of it in your GitHub profile in order to make modifications to it and to do a pull request, which means asking to the project owner to evaluate and include your mods. 4. Commits. These are each of every single intervention made to the code, which are registered by a unique ID. 5. Contributors. You become one when your mods to the project have been included or merged to the default branch. 6. Tag or releases. These show the evolution like features and bug corrections. There are others indicators as, for example, code lines, which will not be included. Now get to the list. Number 10. Sphera. Sphera is an SPH solver aimed to predict fast floods, landslides, flushing and sloshing, among others. It is written in Fortran, allows CPU parallelization via OpenMP, and its last stable version is the 10.0. Inside the downloads, there is a very complete manual including how to combine its use with some other open source tools in order to pre and post process. Number 9. NPM F90 NPM F90 is a material point method solver written also in Fortran and oriented to solid mechanics. It is the simplified version of a closed source code program. The open source code includes elastic material, perfectly plastic, and both isotropic and Sorensen Cook hardening rules. It does not include a parallelized solver version, which left this code only for small particle count problem. Number 8. GPU NPM. This project is also a material point method solver oriented to solid mechanics and written with CUDA C, accounting only for an elastic material. The advantage of this solver is the GPU parallelization, and that includes both explicit and implicit solvers. For more information, see the public paper of the authors on the description below. Number 7. GPU SPH. This project is a smoothed particle hydrodynamics solver written with CUDA C, and it claims to be the first particle solver to run entirely on the GPU, with a lot of commits and six solid releases. However, has not been updated since four years ago and it does not solve solid mechanics problems. For that, you should go to Wellform GPU, in the link up right here on the channel. Number 6. Persian SPH. This is also a SPH tool written to be run in parallel on the CPU with OpenMP. It solves the Navier-Stokes fluid equations, the solid mechanics and also solids equations. Persian is written in C++ and has been used as the base for Wellform SPH in its CPU architecture and with the knowledge acquired has been used to write from scratch the GPU version. Number 5. NARM MPM FEA. NARM is another material point method and a 2D finite element method, but instead of the previous ones, it runs on CPU and it is written in C++ by the Sean NARM research group from Oregon State University. 
It covers several materials, including elastic, plastic, membrane, and rigid, with several hardening rules. It is also a website which describes with details its use. Even though its last release is from 8 years ago, it is being updated continually. Number 4. Pi SPH. Pi SPH is a particle solver written in Python, with a lower level and high speed implemented in Cytan and being parallel only for CPU with OpenCL. It has several SPH formulations and it is focused on fluid dynamics, being solid mechanics only elastic. It has also a tidy documentation page. Number 3. Splish Splash. Tool written in C++ and focused on fluid dynamics. It has not so many contributors, but a lot of forks and stars, and it is an active project. Also, it has an amazing and simplistic graphical user interface based on an amazing InGUI library. It does not include GPU capability. Number 2. Sphinxes. This project is a multi-physics solver written in C++ and aimed to run on CPU only. Despite this, it includes both fluid mechanics and solid dynamics in its native code base. Solid plasticity has been included recently, but still with some basic hardening rules. It also includes an online documentation page with several examples. And the winner is... Number 1. Dual Physics. This project is based on its physics code base. It has a large community around it, it is written in C++ and CUDA, and then is aimed to work on both CPU and GPU architectures. The code is focused mainly on fluid dynamics, and although it is coupled with several third-party multi-physics libraries, does not include a solid mechanic elastic and plastic native solver. But overall, I think it deserves to be on top. So, we have reached the end. As you have been noted, as a bonus, I have included Kratos, which is an amazing finite element open source project which also includes a particle fan solar. I will talk about finite element projects in the future. I hope you liked this video and in that case, hit subscribe button and notifications. See you in the next video.